Hey guys and welcome back to Fisher Cat. In this episode, we are going to be showcasing the saw harpoon. I wasn't expecting to be, you know, back to Fisher Cat so soon, but hey hey, destiny calls. Anyway, saw harpoon. Here we go. Nice one. Thirty percent penetration bonus on medium-sized fishes. Long range, very fast harpoon speed. Mm, penetration is not that bad. Rate of fire is penetration and rate of fire is pretty low. Speed is not so bad. Rope length, oxygen cost is a lot, which is kind of disappointing. But hey, hopefully it's going to be good. We are going to be checking our harpoon in Catopia and see how good it does. Okay, so this is how it works. Wait a minute, let me just uh, pause right here one second. Okay, yeah, so this is how it's going to work. So I'm going to buy the saw harpoon, or which I already did, and I'm going to be showcasing it without upgrading it in the Catopia. Just see how it plays out and uh, you know after one you know a proper investigation of how it works and how much efficient it is we can upgrade it to the max of mk2 and we can do the same thing play it in katopia and see what's the difference and how better it gets and the efficiency of the you know the fish i mean the <laughs> harpoon okay yeah so that's how this is going to work and i'm going to be using katopia because there are no jellyfishes and i don't think that the harpoon uh, you know really affects the jellyfish because any harpoon can one shot a jellyfish so i'm not going to be showcasing the harpoon catching a jellyfish because that's pretty detrimental so yes okay okay wow it's pretty fast i would give you that it's pretty fast penetration is not that bad oh my gosh that's pretty good yeah look at this the penetration is uh i mean to catch small fishes hey it's good the big ones okay it actually caught the big one the citrus right the citrus fish it actually caught that fish that's pretty cool Okay, apparently you can aim with this uh, harpoon because in the Catling harpoon, you, one, you cannot aim like this because if you hold it and try to aim, it just spams. So, at least you can aim and okay, aim in this. Yes, okay, let's try catching the ghost fish. One shot, failed. Oxygen fish. Okay, that one shot at that fish, that's good. Medium sized fishes have double penetration or uh, I think that's how it works, I'm not sure. Okay, so the goat... I mean, the ghost fish was uh, pretty hard to catch, but I think that's because it's considered as a large fish and the medium fishes have a little bit more easy penetration with this saw harpoon. Let's see the rope length. Um, okay, that's actually pretty far. That is really far, honestly. Yes, it is really far. Okay, wait, let's try catching this, uh, you know, this killer whale. See, it's not easy to catch a killer whale. It's not easy to catch big fishes with this harpoon. The reload speed is pretty slow. Yep, but you can catch like medium fishes a lot more easier. Like, um, let's say, yeah, the small shark. Where, where is it? There is, okay, it's coming, coming. Yeah, you can basically one shot it. Yeah, you can one shot medium sized fishes, most of it at least, but the big ones you really need to use an electric bomb to catch it. See, even, even though using an electric bomb is not easy to catch. And yes, I mean, the rope, I like the rope length, it's pretty far, but. The thing is, it can't catch big fishes and that's kind of really important and uh, the oxygen cost is uh, pretty high I would say because it's running down pretty quickly and uh, okay, so are these medium fishes? No right, the tuners are not right, but they are getting caught really easily and I'm assuming that's because it's the easiest large fish to catch so yeah and I, I really would like the reload speed to be a lot more faster but it is what it is am I right? Okay. Yep, okay, this is getting too much. This is getting out of hand, honestly. So, I'm just gonna try this. Just electrocute as... Okay, two fishes in a saw harpoon after electric bombing. That's pretty cool. I mean, I think these tuna fishes are medium sized, right? It's pretty easy to catch them. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that was uh, the saw harpoon without any upgradation or without any, you know sort of modification and uh, 32,000 that's pretty good okay yeah I mean it's good but it's, it could be better I would really like the penetration to be a lot more better and the reloading speed which is the rate of fire to be a lot more higher because the Catling Harpoon destroys every single Harpoon in, in terms of penetration and rate of fire it is extremely fast and that's what I really love about it okay so apparently the you know the mk2 is not maxed but as you can see it has a better speed and a rope length without any upgradation than the catling harpoon and that's pretty fascinating actually 
But yes, let's try upgrading. Let's, I mean, let's upgrade the saw harpoon to the max and see how it holds. Yeah, by the way, if you're wondering how much, how I got this cash so fast, I actually kind of farmed to get so much cash for maybe three to four days. And yes, okay, so as you can see, the penetration is a lot more better. The rate of fire, not so much. The speed is really fast. Is it faster than the Catling Harpoon? Oh my gosh, it is extremely faster than the Catling Harpoon. That is insane. That is insane. I mean, not the rate of fire, but the speed in which the Harpoon, you know, launches out of the Harpoon. And the rope length is a lot bigger as well. Oh my gosh. It actually beats the, you know, the Mia Rocket Harpoon in a lot of ways. But I think that's because the Mia Rocket Harpoon like shoots like 16 different Harpoons at a specific point. So it has a different, you know, capabilities, speciality. Yeah, so it really depends on the Harpoon. This Harpoon cannot go through fishes like the Mia Rocket Harpoon. So you cannot com compare it with the Mia Rocket Harpoon because the Mia Rocket Harpoon has like its own specialities. And yes, let's see how this one turns out. I really would like to see the oxygen cost with no skill, no character, nothing. So let's use Biscuit. 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 Welcome back, Biscuit. Anyway. Okay, yeah, so now let's head to Ketopia and um, see how it turns out to be, you know. Okay, welcome. Welcome, Ketopia. <laughs> okay. The rope length is the maximum of the screen. It can go as far as the eye can see or actually as far as the screen can see. So, okay, the penetration is a lot better. Whoa, look at that. I got four fishes in one swing. That's pretty good. But the thing is, I would really like the reload speed to be a lot more faster because if you are catching a big fish, you would really need a big re or faster reload speed because, you know, once you hit a big fish without an electric bomb, they tend to run away. Oh wow, did you see that? Five fishes in a row, including the baby wheel. That was really good. The, I love the pen penetration, but the rate of fire could be a lot more better. It's, it's actually a really strong harpoon, honestly. And it goes all the way to the end of the screen. Look at this. I shoot here, okay? And it goes all the way to the end. It's so fast as well. It, it should be, since it's fast, it's going to be really accurate and it's going to be a lot more accurate than this sniper harpoon, right? If I remember correctly, that is another harpoon which is pretty fast and pretty accurate, but it's not as accurate as this if I am to compare it. So, yeah, uh, why don't we actually, you know, go to, um, uh, what is that? Catlantis, right? Yeah, why don't we actually go to Catlantis and check it out, you know, just see how it fares against big fishes, especially the big ones, uh, the, the big three. I mean, good thing that there's no jellyfishes as well today. That was a pure, pure luck and coincidence. I like it. So yeah, let's go to Catlantis. There are no jellyfishes today because all the sunfishes ate it apparently. Look at this. No jellyfishes will show up. Thank you. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to, you know, wait for the big one of the big three fishes to come so that I can try to catch one of them. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay. There you go, the coil account. That's a medium fish, right? Okay, it doesn't one shot, two shot, three shots, four shots, five shots. Um, that's pretty sad. Uh, I'm not happy about that, but we can try with more fishes like the round beak. Okay, the coil account. Nope, I'm not interested in your coil account. Uh, the coil account is this one, by the way. And let's try the mimosa. Mm, one shot, two shot, three shot. Four shots. Uh, I don't like it. It's not that great. It's not very efficient. But I don't know. It's, it's okay. I would say. I mean, the medium fishes have a different level of uh, you know hardness of skin as you go on levels as well. So the medium fishes are a lot more harder to catch. Same with the small fishes as well. Look at this. Three, four. Oh, I missed that. Four. No, I missed that as well. Four. Okay, so it basically takes four shots to get a medium fish in Catlantis. So that's uh, kind of scary, actually. It's not very efficient. And I really like the, the tendency of the distance at which the harpoon can travel. Okay, here we go. The donkey, donkey all this. I don't know, man. I don't remember the name of that. But yeah, you don't have to worry about wherever the fish goes because your harpoon is super fast and it can, it can reach the end of the screen as well. That's what I really like about it. But it's taking a lot of shots. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, this is looking very bad. <laughs> okay, it's impossible to catch it, man. Yep, 
Okay, we can try this, I guess. Come on, try to get this uh, little big fish. Come on, come on. It's taking a lot of shots. By the way, I don't even, I didn't start the counting, so I don't know how many shots I already wasted. But hey, while editing, I'll probably might put it in. So okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, little fish. Come on. Okay, it's taking a long time. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look, look how many shots it takes to catch one of these guys. Imagine the number of shots it would take to catch the Leviathan with this. It's kind of impossible to catch the Leviathan in this. As you saw, it is impossible to catch any of those, uh, you know, the big three fishes. So, I would say it's average in terms of, you know, if you're catching any fishes in, you know, uh, let's say coral reefs or the ocean cave or the seaweed region or the glacial region, in fact, or even the Catopia region, this harpoon turns out to be good. But in the Catlantis... I mean, I agree that the Catlantis is a lot more, you know, the fishes are a lot more tough skinned, I would say, but it's a pretty average harpoon, I would say, it's not too good, not too bad. So yes, it's pretty fast, it's a pretty damn fast harpoon, it's a really good, uh, it has a really good rope length which even extends over the screen, so I would say the rope length is the maximum for any of the harpoon can even have. So yes, if you really want to buy the saw harpoon, go for it, but you know, don't expect too much out of it when you play Atlantis and uh, try to catch the, you know, the Leviathan or whatever. But yes, uh, by the way, I wanted to show you the, you know, the fishes, the, the big three, I mean, which probably I didn't even explain what the big three is, but these three are the big three, which you need to catch any one of them for the Leviathan to get, you know, triggered or something like that. And uh, yes. It's pretty hard. I we got the Dunkleo in this episode, but we couldn't even catch the Dunkleo. It's uh, I don't know, man. So the Leviathan is out of question with the Sahapon. So yes, and that was it for this showcase and this episode, guys. If you had fun, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.